Good afternoon, or good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Kristen, and I'm the education director for Sea Turtle Inc. We were supposed to be doing our live at 10 a.m., but we had a lucky surprise. It is a really windy day here on South Padre Island, as you guys can tell, and we are in the midst of nesting. So I am gonna spin my camera around really quick because we are right here in the city limits with a nesting turtle, and we're really excited. We have some visitors that stumbled upon this turtle as well as one of our interns. So I'm gonna spin the camera around so you guys can see what she's up to. <laughs> So right now this turtle is actually in the midst of laying her eggs. She is a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. This is our state sea turtle here in Texas and it is one of the most endangered species of sea turtles in the entire world. So we're really excited that we're able to share this process with you guys. You'll notice that she is not moving at all. She is actually in a trance. So what these females will do is they crawl out of the ocean up onto the beach. They dig a hole with their back flippers and when they start laying their eggs, they go into what's known as a trance. So they are not aware really of anything that's going on around them. So this period in time is a really um, critical moment for these nesting turtles. This is when they're most susceptible to predators out on the beach. Um, so this point is also when we collect all of the data that we need to for these turtles. We'll take weight, or I'm sorry, we'll take measurements. Um, we'll also apply tags to the turtle if they do not have any. Um, and we are able to take biopsies too. So we send that stuff off to the National Park Service to look at DNA analysis. So she has been up on the beach for a little while now. She is probably right about done laying her eggs. <laughs> I'm excited to see so many of you hopping on. This was a surprise live for you guys. We weren't anticipating a mama, obviously, in the city, but they do nest anywhere on South Padre Island. So here in Texas, things are starting to open up. Um, if you guys are in this area and you do plan to come to the beach, obviously, uh, make sure you're adhering to the protocols that are in place for our safety. But keep your eyes peeled and look for nesting turtles that are coming up. Um, it is really windy here on the island today, so we anticipate we're gonna get quite a few more mamas coming up to lay their eggs. There is no specific spot where they come up. It could be right in the middle of the city limits like we are right now. I'm gonna stand up so you guys can see where I'm at. I apologize if you can't hear me. It is really windy, but we're right behind all these condos here. Um, and they can nest farther up the beach where there is no civilization either. So since she's still laying her eggs, she's still in her trance, I'm gonna walk around to the other side where hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better. Block the wind a little bit. So I'm gonna go a little bit closer so you guys can see uh, one of the tags that our conservation coordinator just applied to this turtle. This is called a metal tag. And there is a number that corresponds with that. So we apply these tags to these nesting females so they can be identified in the future. Uh, this turtle did not have tags before. That doesn't necessarily mean she hasn't nested before, uh, but this is the first time one of our um, staff has come ac across her and we were able to apply those tags. So now, since she has that tag, if she does come back to nest later on in the season, um, we'll be able to identify her from that specific tag number. Oh good, I see a lot of you commenting you're able to hear me okay. I'm glad, I'm trying to talk loud here. Uh, if you guys do have questions about anything, go ahead and type them into the comment bar. A uh, question from Amanda, do they come up at a certain time? Um, sometimes it's early in the morning. We've had mamas come up at 5 p.m. So it really just varies quite a bit. Right now it is really windy on South Padre Island. So they love nesting during windy days. The Kemp's Ridley is the only species of sea turtle that will nest in broad daylight. So these winds are really important to the species. I'm gonna kinda show you guys if you're able to see this at all, and you might be able to see it looking farther down the beach here, um, all that sand that's blowing, that wind is actually wiping out these turtles' tracks in the sand. So if visitors or our intern over here wouldn't have come across her, chances are we probably would not know that this nest was here because of how high the tides are, as well as how windy it is. Um, they do use that wind to their advantage. So that's why we think that we're definitely gonna get some more nesting turtles today. So I'm gonna back up a little bit. 
She is now starting to cover her nest cavity. You guys will see her pulling her little back flippers there to fill in that hole that she dug and all of those eggs. Uh, let me see, I saw some questions coming in, so I'm gonna have to scroll back a little. Oh, good question. What do you do if you guys find a turtle? Please call Sea Turtle Inc. Uh, we do have an emergency contact number. Um, our, our number that you can reach us in the office is 956-761-4511, but we have a stranding number that we want you guys to call, and we'll make sure that we post that into the description of this video. What you guys are looking at is what we call the mama turtle dance. So Kemp's Ridleys are the smallest species of sea turtle in the world. They only get to be about 100 pounds full grown. So what she's doing is actually rocking back and forth on the sand there. She's patting that sand down really tightly and that is gonna help disguise her nest from predators. So once she's done patting, you guys will see her pull more sand in, kick that around to help disguise that nest before she makes her way back out into the water. A uh, question coming in, is it is this a green sea turtle? No, this is actually a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. Let me see if there are any other questions that I missed. Do you know for sure there's in the so who you guys see coming in there is Mariana Devlin. She is our conservation coordinator. I didn't know that's where she and she's putting that stick in the ground so that way if all of this area does get blown out, we roughly know where that nest is located so we can relocate those eggs. Um, a question from Katie about how many eggs do they typically lay? On average, it's about 100. <laughs> I see some of you saying you're really excited um, for baby turtles. We're really excited for that too. So these eggs will typically incubate for about 45 to 60 days, depending. Um, and then soon, so here in about a month and a half, this nest should be hatching. <laughs> Uh, a question coming in from Brianna, is that is the application of the tag painful? Uh, that is a good question. So if you guys imagine getting your ear pierced, it's about roughly like that. So you initially will feel pain, but eventually that pain subsides. Um, so I imagine the turtles do feel pain briefly from that tag, but over time it will go away. And of course this does help with the conservation of this species overall. I'm so excited that so many of you are on this live. I don't think we've had this many people on our lives before. Oh, a uh, question coming in from Ulysses is this, if these eggs are gonna be protected. Yes, so as soon as this turtle is done covering her nest and makes her way back out into the Gulf of Mexico, what we do is actually come in and relocate all of these eggs that are laid. So we have a corral here on South Padre Island that we will relocate these eggs to. It's a big protected area, so it won't be impacted by people or predators or anything like that. So they will be safe once this turtle returns back out into the ocean. A uh, question coming in from Marisol is, is being so close to the turtle going to disturb her? So we are trying to maintain a distance. Um, as soon as she starts making her way back to the water, uh, we make sure that she has a clear path to get back out into the Gulf. That way um, she's not getting stressed out. How big do they get? So for the Kemp's Ridley, on average, they're gonna be about 100 pounds. Other species of sea turtles, they are quite a bit larger. The leatherbacks, for example, they're the largest. They get to be up to 1,000. Another question coming in was how many eggs do they lay? On average, it's about 100. Yeah, let's see. Uh, one question was, do those tags ever rust off? And no, they don't. Um, eventually, if the turtle does outgrow the tag, the tag can pop off. Um, and then if that turtle were to come up and nest again, we can just apply another tag. A uh, comment was, uh, they don't think Sea Turtle Inc. moves the eggs. We actually do. We re relocate every single nest in Texas. Um, sea Turtle Inc. manages everything from Port Mansfield South. Everything north of that is run by the National Park Service. So every nest that is laid in the state of Texas is relocated to a protected area. All right, I'm trying to scroll. Sorry, there's a big glare on my screen, so I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any of your questions. We relocate all of our eggs to a corral, for those of you that missed that answer. Let's see. 
she is starting to she's still covering as you guys see we're trying to make sure she has a clear path there a uh, question coming in from Jay was this the if this mama will ever come back to um, look for her nest? The answer is no. Once the turtles lay their eggs, they disguise it like you see right now, and they're gonna head back out into the ocean. They do not take care of their babies like humans or other mammals would. These little hatchlings, once they emerge from their nest, they have to do everything all on their own. Another question from Diana was, is it unusual for Kemp's Ridley's to nest during the day? This is the only species of sea turtle that will only nest in broad daylight. Um, other species typically only nest at night. So thinking of the Florida coast, yes, those turtles will nest at nighttime. A question coming in was if the hatchlings return to the same place where they were laid. Yes, they do. It's not the same pinpoint location, but it is the same general area. So she is making her way back out into the Gulf of Mexico. You guys will see her tracks here in the sand. That is one way that we help identify where those nests are located is by looking for those tracks. How long does it take for the entire nesting process? It varies. Uh, sometimes the turtles will nest very quickly. I've seen turtles nest in about a half an hour. Other times they might take a little bit longer. They could be on the beach for an hour, hour and a half. So it really depends quite a bit on the conditions. We're so excited that we're able to share almost this entire process with you guys. So you guys will see nesting is very taxing obviously it uses a lot of energy so they do take breaks um, as they're making their way back out into the ocean I don't know if you guys can see all this sand blowing or not but that kind of gives you an idea as to how nesty or I'm sorry how windy it is on South Padre Island it is very nesty too so if you guys are here make sure you keep your eyes peeled for other nesting turtles that are coming up to lay their eggs if you guys are looking for a way to support our conservation program um, we do have a, an adoption program for nests as well as hatchlings um, we also have general donations if you guys do want to support this program um, feel free to donate to us you guys have been so supportive during these trying times that we're going through and we appreciate you guys so much so this mama is making her way back out into the Gulf and off she goes so Kemp's Ridley's do nest in cycles. Um, it's about every three to four years, give or take, and they can lay two to three nests in a single season. So there is a chance that we might see this mama coming back up to nest on our beaches again this season. <laughs> so she's going out right over there. <laughs> and off she goes. So I'm gonna come up and show you guys closely what her tracks look like. The tide is coming in really high today, so these tracks are gonna get wiped out really quickly. Um, but here is what we look for whenever we're looking for nesting on our beaches. So we would just follow the tracks up. Um, if there's two sets of tracks, that means that the mama has come in, nested, and returned back out into the Gulf with only one set of tracks. Usually that means that the turtle is still out on the beach, um, but with how windy it is today, her initial set of tracks are actually completely gone. We cannot see them anymore. Uh, so I'm gonna spin the camera back around. It's so windy today. Um, nesting season is right now and it will last through July. So even if you guys aren't here on South Padre Island on this weekend, this week, even this month, um, nesting season will continue through the summer. So like I said, if you guys do see any nesting turtles while you're visiting this area, please give us a call. We're gonna put that number in the description of this video along with um, links to donate if you guys are interested in that. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this morning. We're really excited that we were able to share that nesting process with you. I know I didn't get to answer all of the questions that you guys had commented, but I can go back when I'm in the office later to go and um, answer all those questions too. Thank you guys so much. And they are working on relocating those nests now. If that's something you guys are interested in seeing, we have done previous lives um, in our corral relocating those nests. So feel free to scroll back through and watch our other videos. Thanks guys. Have a good day.